Hi, I'm Ashley, and I bought a shed that we are turning into a she shed, aka my dream craft room, and this series is the process of how we did that from start to finish, so I hope you'll follow along for the final reveal. Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of the she shed build out. That's what we'll call it. I was going to say she shed remodel, but we're not remodeling anything. We you know, I, I bought a shed and I'm just converting it into my craft room, my she shed. So we're finishing it out. This episode, we are putting in the front door and the windows, which is super, super exciting. Now, I only have one complaint when it comes to the shed. When I ordered it, it was super simple to do. They sent me photos. There was a lot of conversation, questions being answered, etc. The deliver, delivery was fairly seam seamless he I'm like cannot talk the delivery was fairly seamless he did run into our ditch but that's not a big deal the mail lady does it like every other day so it's fine <laughs> but the one thing that I asked multiple times is you know am I gonna have eight foot walls and they said yes guaranteed gonna be eight foot walls well I got seven foot walls <laughs> so they were they were so close almost made it almost made it this become an issue when I got the door I didn't we didn't measure the walls when we got the shed um, and it had set in in its uh, permanent residence there for a few months before we started working on it so I went ahead and ordered the door because I knew it was gonna take a while we got the door in went to put it up and boom it doesn't fit so my dad had to do a little rig in here and um, re kind of frame it and redo some I don't know some other things to make it fit anyways it fits now but on the outside of the shed it looks it looks bad <laughs> you guys will see it here in just a little bit I'm hoping that whenever we put the front porch on whenever we connect the the roof of the front porch to the roof of the shed it'll kind of help hide it and then we'll also put the little strip of trim I'm gonna call it trim don't know if it's called that it goes up underneath of this the um, roof we're gonna put that back up and stuff. You guys will see it whenever. Well, here, hold on. Let me actually just do this. There, I stuck a photo in there. You guys can see above the door that big gap. I shouldn't be there. <laughs> but I'm hoping, like I said, once we get the front porch on, you won't be able to see that and we'll get it all fixed and enclosed in the way it's supposed to be. So that's the only downside I have to ordering the shed. Everything else, like I said, was awesome. It's just we didn't have the right size walls. Since this is going to be my craft room, I want to tell you about my crafting moment here. So we needed to um, put shims in between the door frame and the framing of the shed. And what shims do is they kind of help level everything out so the door can open up and close smoothly, right? We also had to loosen a few screws and tighten some opposite screws and that kind of thing just to make sure that the door would actually open and close smoothly. I don't care how good of a carpenter you are nothing is ever 110% like perfect. Do you know what I mean? Nothing's perfect. Like you can get things pretty darn close to being perfect on level and being square and stuff, but sometimes things are off just a little bit, which is, it happens. Um, and that's why there's tools like shims um, to help kind of combat those, right? So anyways, we needed shims, didn't have any. Me and my dad was like, what are we going to use? We was kind of looking around in the shed and I was like, I have the perfect thing <laughs> for these. I had giant popsicle sticks that we use for shims and I got a kick out of it because I was like, well, my first craft project here is I'm using popsicle sticks instead of actual shims to help the door. So anyways, I just had to share that, that little crafter's brain moment of mine. So I purchased this door handle off of Amazon and I really like it. It's a really good door handle. But 
it came with a guide that we had taped onto the door, made sure it was taped correctly where it was supposed to be, and then followed that guide and drilled the holes. But the bottom hole did not line up. Um, it was a pain in the butt. My dad ended up having to drill it out even bigger. Um, and the other side, on the opposite side of where the actual handle is on the inside of the door, there's now a hole in my door, which is a little bit saddening. But um, my dad said he has a piece of sheet some kind of sheet metal I don't know what he called it or whatever but he said it was thin we could probably put it over it do a little bit of patchwork and make it look good listen I'll tell you with 98% of the things I do I never strive for perfection I just we just do our best and that's something my dad always taught me like just it, it was always he always said if you ain't gonna do it right don't do it at all but sometimes you do mess up and you do have to try to correct it as best as you can and that's okay so I don't usually get too upset whenever things don't work out the way they're supposed to or the way I had it planned in my head, right? I mean, it gets a little frustrating, but this little hole in the door in the grand scheme of things is not a big deal. We can we can find some way to fix it. So just a heads up, if you guys order um, any kind of handle off of anywhere, really, it doesn't just have to be Amazon. This isn't Amazon's fault, but uh, just make sure that you, like, we double checked everything, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> Just make sure you like triple check everything. Don't just do a double check, do a triple check. Uh, same thing if you order a shed, do a quadruple check that you're going to have eight foot walls. Learn from my mistakes, okay? Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier and give you guys a little bit of tips if you guys ever decide to uh, do something like this. But we eventually got the door handle in. No big deal. There is an extra hole that shouldn't be there, but that's okay. All right, the door is in, so now we're working on the windows. And what we did here, well, I filmed it. My dad did the work. I watched. <laughs> Supervisor. Anyways, we, he, <laughs> I keep wanting to take credit for something I had no part in. <laughs> he cut the studs out, um, and we had to reframe everything up, but he cut them out, reframed it, then cut out the hole for the um, window to set in. So here you can kind of see how he framed that up before his drill battery went dead. Um, this isn't a tutorial. I'm not here to tell you guys, like, explain how to do things. There's tons of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I just want to show you guys kind of the steps and the process of what we did to build this shed out into a craft room. And I had this really cool video of that panel falling to the ground. And I can't find it. So now we just get to stare at a hole in the wall. <laughs> so once we... Once he, again, 
not trying to take credit here. <laughs> I didn't do much work on this part. But once he got the hole cut out, we put a ton of silicone on the window to help seal it up. He packed it out there, climbed up the ladder, and put it in there. I kind of helped a little bit with making sure it was in and all was well, and then he got it screwed up. Now the second window that we put in, my husband was home for lunch, so he helped him, and it was, it was much easier on both of them um, that they got that one put up. But this night, we got the front two windows put in, and then he repeated that same process for the other three windows. So on the front of the shed, you'll see it towards the end, there's two of the larger windows, the dormer and the door. If you're looking at the shed from right now where it is on this video, on the right side of the shed, there's a small window. And then I have two more small ones on the back of the shed. And then there will be eventually French doors on the back. But um, this night we just got the two front windows put in. And then the following night we got the, the other three windows put in. And I didn't film that process because it's literally the exact same thing. It's just repeating all of this. Cash was upset because he couldn't come play, but there were times that I had to make sure he couldn't get into the shed because there was tools and stuff out. That dog will eat anything, so he's still a puppy. Like, he hasn't learned his lesson, I guess. Um, he will eat screws, like, anything. So we have to be super careful, and I just made sure he stayed over there. Or if I let him out, we shut the door on the shed so he couldn't get in there to uh, get a hold of anything. I also He's also wild because he's still a puppy, and I didn't want him to knock my dad off the ladder, so... <laughs> Um, there's the two front windows put in. I love it. So much more light in there. Like that dormer made a, it, you know, it lets a lot of light in, but the windows made a huge difference. That's the front of the shed in here. I'm going to walk up and, um, you guys can see the door handle and you can also see my popsicle sticks that are stuck in there. So that was my, my help for the day. <laughs> Getting the popsicle sticks. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. We have the door and the two windows in. Episode three, we're gonna be working on building out some corners and adding some insulation, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>